The great city of Avec, a metropolis upon the sea where thousands live and work in the shadow of Bardown. A city of gods, a city of commerce, a city of faith. Vivek is one of the largest urban population centers in Morrowind. And for such a massive city, uh, you would expect a certain amount of infrastructure. Gates, walls, bridges, protective or ceremonial fortifications, lighthouses and beacons. A city of this scale depends on the flow of traffic, trade and goods both from land and sea, and all that that requires. Which uh, brings me to today's Mod of the Day. Or as I should say, Mods of the Day. For today, we're taking a look at two mods by Kalantir, including the Great Sea Wall of Avec and the Gates of Ascadia. Two mods that add aesthetic new additions to the land and sea routes that lead into the city of Avec. First, the Great Sea Wall of Avec. It is a massive fortification that stretches across the entire Norvain Bay, limiting passage into the city itself to just a single gate, a remnant from the time when naval raids were common, and today a choke point to prevent smugglers from entering the city. For such a horizontal structure, there is a lovely amount of verticality here. The twin towers of the seawall gates can be seen from well off in the distance with beacons guiding ships into the bay, and watchtowers dotting the walls. And this works perfectly with Ender Ugex for Ek Lighthouse, a seamless and synergetic combination of mons that work in perfect alignment. A visual vista of verticality in Vivek for visitors to view on their approach. And of course, this also works just pretty well for all the different mons out there that expand or add docks to Vivek. Like a rethinking Vivek, Vivek City, Concept Art Vivek Ports, or Harafengar's Vivek Docks. Uh, one thing I will say though is that uh, while the seawall is uh, very pretty and scenic, even with the long horizontal stretches, it, it, it does feel like a city the size of Vivek should uh, maybe have more than one gate for sea traffic. Vivek is a major city. Yeah, probably the largest city on the inner sea, positioned between other major trading hubs like Anothrin and Old Ebenholt, and just across the sea from the mouth of the Third River, bringing ships from Almasthir, Narsis, and a dozen other sizable towns along the river. Vivek is a natural stopping point on the shipping lanes for inner sea trade, and I just don't think one gate could really handle the likely traffic volume. Yeah, you'd have a queue just going all the way out to sea, of ships just waiting to enter the bay. I mean, uh, look at this, right? And uh, Look at this. Uh, you're sailing a ship out of the harbour of Evanhard, heading towards the gate. But, wait! There's another ship heading out at the same time. And uh, then it becomes a race to be the first one to the gate, so you don't end up in a queue. And uh, what if a ship is entering the gate while one or two are trying to leave? And that's just a recipe for a major collision right there. In all practicality, I, I, I really think there should be at least two gates for sea traffic. But you know, that's just uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, uh, the second mod here is Gates of Ascadia, which adds, well, gates to the various land routes heading into Vivek. These uh, simple fortifications are as much ceremonial as offensive. But uh, in a pinch, they do provide an outer layer of defense against attack, with gates and ordinators. The biggest of these is along the road to Plesiad, but uh, there's also gates along the bridges coming from the Bitter Coast, and uh, one each for the three land routes that head into the cantons of Avac. And uh, that's another thing, uh, this mod also replaces a lot of those rickety wooden bridges around Avac with proper and more solidly constructed Evolothi bridges, complete with banners and just other adornments, as is only suitable for the main land routes heading into a major city like Vivek. After all, there's no way those old rickety wooden bridges could handle the foot and cart traffic that a proper city would require. Uh, both of these mods are just incredibly scenic, offering new infrastructure for Vivek that's both immersive and atmospheric, expanding the city with realistic fortifications. Uh, this is another just fantastic set of mods by Kalantir, and uh, well worth checking out for yourself. 
Uh, though, uh, as a quick note, uh, Gates of Ascadia uh, will conflict with most of the Vivek expansion and overhaul mods out there, uh, though it does have a compatibility patch for BCOM. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it for our mods of the day, so as always, I've been your host, Golf Guy. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, aw, uh, see you all next time.